What's going on folks, Dylan here from FabricationGuy.com and today I'm going to be explaining to you the key differences between the Lotos LT5000D and the Lotos LTP5000D. So what is the difference between these two? I'll have both of these uh, machines linked in the video description on Amazon for you guys to reference. So the links will be down there. What is the difference? Well, it is the P in the model number, and that P stands for pilot arc. So if we take a look here, the LT5000D, you have two torch hookups with your ground clamp hookup at the top for a total of three. If you look at the front of the LTP5000D, you have four hookups. One of those is that red one that says pilot arc, which is only unique to this machine. So what is pilot arc? Pilot arc allows you to take the torch of your plasma cutter, hit the button, and the arc will start even if you do not have the tip of the torch grounded to the metal that you are cutting. This is incredibly useful for cutting rusty metal or heavy painted metal. Um, oftentimes we use the pilot arc feature to trim edges when we're doing metal artwork. We can get really fine detail. It's a really nice essential feature to have. And every expensive plasma cutter from companies like Hypertherm and Miller, you know, big USA brands, they all have pilot arc. So typically, you know, if a machine does not have a pilot arc, it's simply a cost saving measure. And we can see that reflected in the prices. The LTP 5000D is right around 450 bucks on Amazon uh, currently. And the LT 5000D is currently around 275. So there's definitely about $175 cost savings there. Um, and you know, that's pretty significant. So the question is, is it worth spending that extra $175? In my opinion, if you want a plasma cutter that operates as close to a nice name brand plasma cutter, having the pilot arc feature is going to give you the best experience. And I, and personally, I think it's 100% worth it to spend the extra $175. I see it as an essential feature in my work environment. However, depending on how you're using your machine or what your budget is, you can definitely get by with an LT5000D without the pilot arc feature. I mean, coming in at 275 bucks, that's incredibly cheap for a plasma cutter. And the cutting ability on these two machines is exactly the same. They're both 50 amps. They're the exact same machine. The only difference being the pilot arc feature. So you're going to get the same cutting capacity. The only difference is that you're going to have to have the tip of your torch grounded to metal. So you're going to have to be cutting clean metal or have your metal prepped before you cut, which could add a little bit of extra time to your workflow. So it's really up to you and your expectations of the machine. I think anyone who doesn't own a plasma cutter and is looking to just add one to their shop for really cheap, both of these machines are going to blow your mind for how much you're getting for the price. I mean, these are incredible machines for the price. It's just a matter of how much you want to spend. And if you want the little extra bells and whistles, I recommend Pilot Arc, but it's not for everybody. It's an extra $175 and maybe that $175 could be spent elsewhere for you. So it's really up to you but I recommend you get it. If you are a serious fabricator or you're someone who's really looking to get into fabrication, be sure to check out my other videos uh, on where I talk about the Lotos LTP 5000D versus some of the other options out there like the Prime Weld Cut 60. I'm gonna have some videos on my channel of that as well and I'll link them in the video description. Um, if you're gonna go all out and buy a machine that has all the bells and whistles and spend a little bit more, you may wanna spend just a tad bit more and get a Prime Weld Cut 60, which is an even bigger, better uh, version of the LTP 5000D. So be sure to check out that video as well. Um, like I said, I'll have links to all these machines in the video description. I hope this helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them and help you guys. Good luck with your new machines. You're gonna enjoy them. They're really, really awesome. And we'll catch you guys in the next video.